A BMW 7 Series M version, huh? Yeah, that's true. Kind of. Some people are crazier than rally drivers, and I'm talking about the ones in the passenger seat. De Tommaso leaders are greedy bastards, a naked chick driving drunk, and can I get a moo? Oh, thanks, AK. Yeah, we got some cow action, commenter of the week. What's up, everybody? I'm Derek Dean, in case you didn't know, and this is FLD, and no, that does not stand for Fat Leopards Dancing. That's not what it means. I want to drive race cars for a living. I'm racing guys that are twice my age, and they don't think I should be here until I win. So a while back, we heard that BMW may be considering an M version of its 7 Series, and it looks like part of that rumor may come true. Except the new model, based on the 2015 7 Series, however that will turn out, will be the M770i X-Drive, and will use a twin-turbo 4-liter V8 engine, making about 475 horses and 480 pound-feet of torque. Now those aren't exactly Mercedes S63 AMG numbers, but the real story will be BMW's planned weight saving tactics, including carbon fiber body panels, lightweight sports seats, and carbon ceramic brakes. That basically means better power to weight ratio styles and improved handling. If you don't opt for the top of the line 7 series, the next generation 7 will still use lighter weight materials to shed about 450 pounds from the current model. Hey, I like where your head's at BMW, taking that boat and turning it back into a car. Because it was huge. Is that what she said? That is. Right. Yeah, it's pretty insane to be a rally driver on tiny mountain roads piloting a 400 plus horsepower Porsche GT3, but how about if you weren't in control? I'm talking about the navigators, who somehow keep it together at stupidly fast speeds, inches from cliff faces, while calmly directing the driver through each approaching turn. I mean, the video says it all. And of the things it's saying is, you better have some balls to do this job. I think that's one of the main things it's saying. If you want to watch that video, the link is in the description. You like that a brief? What if you're a female navigator? Well, you have strong gumption. Hey, if you remember our story from last week about De Tommaso going bankrupt, then you might recall the bit about the president of the company potentially engaging in fraud. Well, looks like that part was all true, as Italian authorities have arrested Gian Mario, Azag Gian Mario Rosignolo and two associates for misusing public funds. Those in question took $9.1 million from the government to train about 1,000 employees, but instead, that money went straight to the executive's personal accounts. Greedy friggin' bastards. Even worse, some De Tommaso employees still haven't received back wages owed to them from before the company went under. The elderly Rosignolo won't face jail time, but his associates have been locked up. What? Old or not, throw his ass in jail if he's guilty. I'd be pissed if I was one of the associates and I'm like, this old bastard gets to uh, not go to jail, but I do because I can walk. Hey, not cool. Oh, and uh, some chick over the weekend in Butt, Montana. It may be Butte. It's Butte. But I want to say Butt, Mon. Oh, Derek, I live there, you suck. <laughs> like you haven't heard it before. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, she got drunk, then got naked, then got in a car and rammed her boyfriend's car with that car. Well, she may have been naked first, then got drunk. I don't really know the semantics. But anyway, police got her, and she was arrested for DUI and disorderly conduct. She just looks haggard. Yeah, this is terrible. That's all we got. That's the only picture we have, Max. So that's it. Hey, you guys know what time it is? Yeah. What? Commenter of the week time. That is commenter of the week. The week time. Commenter. Comments. 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 I'll, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Now, this comment comes from a fan who goes by the name of 707 Funzo. It's a good name. Solid YouTube name, I must say. And he said this, yo, Derek D, what up, player? The show is tighter than an 18-year-old. Smell what I'm steeping in? Keep up the good work. Whatever happened to the FLD desk? I like that format for the show. Maybe sprinkle that in some episodes. Either way, keep the show in the fast lane. I'm assuming that's how the guy talked. Well, 707 Funzo, thanks for being so animated. 
I think you meant to say that the show is tighter than an 18-year-old's bicep after doing butterfly curls at the gym. You know how you get tight when that happens. And no, I do not smell what you're steeping in. If you meant to say stepping in, I would assume you mean stepping in shit. And if that's the case, I do not want to smell that. Otherwise, thanks for being a fan. We still have the FLD desk, actually. We use it more now for when we do interviews and stuff. But you know what? We may bring it back. We may bring it back every now and then, and just do a desk episode. You know why not? We can do that every now and then. So thanks, 707 Funzo. We'll try to keep the show in the fast lane. You just look out for a YouTube email. You'll be getting one. Anyway, that'll do it for Fast Lane Daily today. I'm Derek D. In case you didn't know that, we're on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube. Like, follow, subscribe, maybe not in that order, whatever. Also on iTunes, you can subscribe there, and you can rock our t-shirts. And that is how it's done. And Coincidentally, we're done, Max. Right, AK? Right, Derek. All right. That was a good comment. All right. Is that the end of the show? I think it's the end of the show. See, look at this. I do put water in the mug. There's water in there. And I drink it. Thank you. Dave Tommaso, I did that weird. Let's do it again. And some crazy people are crazier than uh, me f***ing up. That's what's crazy. Derek D, I'll tell you my pony story after. Ow, we're living in the fast lane.